Now that you've seen what to do when the opponent is on top of you trying to throw punches, let's discuss what you should do if they get low and they try to control you more. Rather than punch you, they really want to control you and pin you down. Here's how they might do it. Headlock from the mount. They wrap your neck and they pin you with all their weight. They lay low. Now, although this headlock might seem like a major problem, it's actually an opportunity for the bottom person. Watch this. As I hug his neck, I'm actually giving him one of my arms. The fact that my arm is under his head makes it even easier for Hidon to trap it. So right now, he's going to pin his head down, trap the arm, trap the foot, and he's gone. One more time in slow motion. So again, because I'm hugging his neck, he, what he does is he drives his head down to confirm the position of my arm under his neck. My hand can't go out this way anymore like it would want to. So his head is down heavy. He grabs my arm here and kind of pulls it down to his shoulder. So right now he's solidifying the position of my arm behind his neck. It's really trapped well. Now he's going to trap my foot on the same side as the hugging arm, which is this side. So the foot is trapped, the arm is trapped, and his other arm is hugging my body. The reason for that is because he's going to reach up to the stars here when he bridges his hips. So in slow motion, watch this. Hips up, reach over the trapped arm, and I can't post out, and that's why I fall. Once again, the hand comes in on the neck hug. I think I've got him tight. His head goes down. He traps the arm on the same side. Remember, the principle remains the same as the first and second variations we've learned. Head heavy, arm trap foot trap, body hug, keeping everything close here. Now, when he feels ready, all he's got to do is bridge the hips straight up and reach, 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 and he's good. Now, there's one more thing the opponent can do to make it more difficult for you to roll them off, and this is the grapevine, the hooks. If I insert my legs right here and I hook behind his ankles or behind his calves with both of my ankles, it makes it very difficult because now as he don't bridge his hips up, this hook over here, the back hook, that hook over there prevents me from falling. So when all this is set and ready to go, if he bridges me now, it won't work because my hook back here is locking him in. So what he don't has to do is right before he plans on rolling me out, he takes that back leg and he extends it up to the sky. Once he extends it, he turns it and tucks it in inside my foot. One more time, please. Watch the high extension here. So my hooks are in. He's going to extend straight up to the sky slowly, turn and tuck inside my foot. Once his foot is inside mine, I have no more hook. Now he bridges his hips straight up, and I'm gone. So by yourself, this is how it looks. Imagine you're caught in the headlock from here. Hold the arm behind your head. Keep your head down heavy on the mat so their arm won't slip out. Arm trap, head heavy, trap the foot on one side. If they don't hook your legs, you can reach and go. If they do insert the hooks, if they put their legs around your calves or your shins, you have to remove the back hook. So from this point, if you want to roll this way, you have to straighten this leg out, pop their foot out, tuck your leg inside, post your foot on the ground, and then bridge, reach, and roll to your knees. Remember, the hips got to go straight up, straight up, and then reach, and then go right to your knees. Headlock variation, neck hug, head down, bicep control. Make sure your head is heavy, keep the body hug tight. And I want to have the top person with the grapevines inserted, both feet hooked. He don't going to pop out the back hook. Notice how he doesn't do anything about the front hook. He leaves the front hook in place because he wants to have this foot trapped. So leave that one there. Now slowly bridge, reach all the way up and go right to your knees. So with your partner, in very slow motion, start from the mount, establish the headlock from the top, head control. Top person, insert both hooks, insert the grapevines, and with the grapevines hooked in, I want the bottom person to trap the arm, hug under the back, pop out the back foot, and as soon as your foot lands on the ground, you should bridge your hips and roll immediately. If you pop your hook out, put the foot down, and wait too long, they might find a way to reinsert the hook. So pop, plant, and 
execute. Nice and slow, headlock variation of the trap and roll mount escape. Go for it. <laughs>